<clears throat> well, all right, guys. Hopefully, you can see me here. Got a guy wanting to buy this Ford 302, so uh, we're gonna do a little compression test on it for him. And I figured, why not make a video out of this? Because you guys might be curious too. So we're all set up. All the plugs are out. The uh, ignition is not hooked up. The throttle is cracked wide open, and we've disconnected the fuel. So we've got our best chance for good results here. So here we are, cylinder number one. Oh, come on. If the starter makes it. There we go. Okay, guys, what we get? 140. Two, I'm going to call that. That's not bad. Kids are home today. It's Saturday, so you might hear them running back and forth here in the background. It's all part of the fun. Okay, cylinder number two. Wait a minute. Yeah. I'm not sure what these uh, 302s are supposed to have for compression, but those numbers are pretty good, I think. Be nice if they were a little closer together. Get what we get. Alright, here we go, cylinder number three. Call that one fifty two. Jumping up there nice and quick, which is a good sign. Dead on one sixty. chance to catch up here. I got her on the charger, but it's, it's one of them smart chargers, so put a bunch of draw on it, she'll shut down on you. Okay, on to number five. I don't know if I'll be able to see that from the cranker side. Let's see. What do we got here? One forty five. Write that down before I forget. Six, we're at one sixty nine. I know you're supposed to do this with the engine warm, but you can get a pretty good idea with a cold motor, too. <laughs> I 
right, guys, one more to go. I knew this motor was happy. Okay, I'll recap for you guys. We have 142 on one, 163 on two, 152 on three, 160 on four, 145 on five, 169 on six, 160 on seven, and 145 on eight. So cold compression. This Ford 302 motor is for sale. I've got it listed for $500 Canadian, located in Kelowna, BC, Canada. If you're interested in this thing, just give me a shout. This should fit into any Ford from the 60s up to the 90s that came with a V8 in it. So that's it, guys. Hope that was informative for you. Have a nice day. Hopefully uh, you catch the Hit to Pass live stream tonight. That's going to be a good time. Thank you.